Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a little show and tell on the Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove. It's a knockout of the Evernew Titanium Stove, Ultralight Titanium. And one of the things that I think I was talking about was how there's no fiberglass lining inside this like there is on the Evernew. So it takes quite a, a while for it to heat up and blossom something like almost three minutes. But what I'm going to do today is try a boil test on this using the Evernew Titanium Cross Stand which happens to fit on there perfectly since it is a knockoff. The one thing that I have, the problem that I have here is I have two ways of doing this. I can put the alcohol in here, light it, and wait until it blooms like I did with the Evernew but on this one it only takes about 30 seconds or so for the jets to bloom out, blossom, whatever you want to call it. Or I can just put the al alcohol in here, put on the Evernew stand, light it, and then put the pot on right away. Hope my thoughts with that is hopefully as the heat's coming up, hitting the bottom of the pot and reflecting back, that it'll heat this up a little bit faster than just sitting here for three minutes waiting for it to come to a bloom. I'm not sure, but I think that's what I'm going to do today. See if I can light this and put the pot on and heat it up that way. If that doesn't work, then I'll have to do another test. So let me get, let me, yeah, can't talk here. Let me get my alcohol prepped. I'm going to measure out two fluid ounces to put in here rather than using the marks. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to say. When I did the Evernew the first time, I filled up this inner tank to the two fluid ounces. And I had commented that as I stood here watching, the fluid went down because it was being soaked up into the fiberglass that's inside this wall. The other day when I did this, when I put it up to the two fluid ounces mark, it just kind of sat there. It didn't go anywhere. Again, because there's no, um, uh, you know, none of the fiberglass in here. So I'm going to measure it out today and see what happens from that. So let me get this stuff prepped, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my two cups of water at temperature. I've got two fluid ounces or 60 milliliters of methanol in the stove. Okay, there you can hopefully you can see the flames. That's just on the in, inner part. Let me. I hope this isn't going to put it out. But let me put the two cups of water on here, and we'll see where this goes. I know this is going to be a a long run, but we'll see what it does. I don't know if you see that, but in the back, there the jets are trying to take off. There we go at 1 minute 30, about 33 seconds. I'm not sure what the huffing's about. But, like I thought, with the heat reflecting off the, the pot, it's helping this to heat up a little bit faster. And now some of them went out again. But it's trying. So, let's see how long it takes to get to a boil. Okay, we're now 1 minute 33 seconds into the test, which is about 2 minutes into the jets having started. As you can see, the temperature is up above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This isn't going to be the fastest thing so far, but uh, at least it lit. So let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil. There we have 210. To 11, to 12 at 7:35. Okay, let's see how long this takes to run out the two fluid ounces or 60 milliliters of methanol. Okay, we're going. The jets are all out, it's just the inner 
uh, inner tank still burning. I think you can hear the ticking of the titanium going gone at 2137 2137 interesting okay let me take this off not sure let me shut this off not sure what all the do with this. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 52. Cloudy out. But anyway, that was two cups of water. Came to a boil in 7 minutes 35 seconds. If you take um, the time that it took for the blooms to come up, that was at about 2 minutes. At 1 minute 33 they just started, but they didn't really get going until almost two minutes. So if I subtract that from the 735, that comes out to 535. When I did this test with the Evernew Titanium stand using the uh, titan Evernew Titanium stove, two cups of water, same temperature, came to a boil in five minutes, 40 seconds. With this, the Evernew, it ran out then in 18 minutes, 15 seconds. Today it ran out in 2137. So interesting. Hmm. Don't, I don't really know what to say with that, but uh, hmm. be really curious to see what this does in the winter when it's cold, especially if you have this setting on cold ground. It was hard enough for this to get started. Again, I thought with the pot being on here, it would reflect the heat down and get this lit a little bit faster than the three minutes that it took yesterday in the open air. But uh, if you do this on cold ground, you're going to have to insulate it. Now, one thing I meant to bring up, the fiberglass that I meant said was on the inside of this. It looks like it's just a wraparound on the inside. I'm talking about something like this. You've seen me use this exhaust wrap in the old days before I found the uh, carbon felt from some other people. But this is fiberglass that's woven into strips, just like so. And that's what I think is on the inside of this. There's just a loop of this, just like this, setting in the alcohol on the bottom, and it wicks up the alcohol to the jets. This is not in this survival EDC ultralight titanium alcohol stove that I got off eBay. But I don't know, with a little bit different times, it still seems to get the job done. I don't know, just don't know what to say about that. So I'm curious to see what you guys, what you people all say about this. It seems to work, it's a whole lot cheaper than the ever new but uh, hmm. I really thought without that wicking in there the times would be terrible but they're not it's longer but it's two minutes longer but still you know what the heck <laughs> now, I've had several people suggest that I wrap something around this so that you can put alcohol on it and light it from the outside if speed is your real thing, you really got to have this going fast, then I guess you can do something like that. Or you can put it in some sort of a dish and put alcohol in here and let that light. I definitely think this is something that would have to be done in the winter to get this going. But in the summer situation, hmm. now another thing with this is, even though this is a sort of a clone of a Trangia, Kind of like the A lock ones. This it's the same jet type thing, except on these there's only one ring of jets. On this there's two. But there again with that, this inner jet stuff doesn't do anything except maybe help with the lighting. All the flames are on the outer. But whereas these A locks will fit in Trangia pot stands, this won't. It falls right through. I don't know why they did that.
I'll show you that coming up with some tests. But like I said, I look forward to seeing, seeing what you people say about this. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.